So hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem prefix suffix string. So given two list of string S1 and S2, you have to count the number of strings in S2, which is either a suffix or a prefix of at least one string of S1. So let's understand the question. So what is our aim? Our main aim is to count S2, which is suffix or prefix of any of S1 string. So let's take the example. So before going to prefix, suffix, let's understand what are prefix, suffix. Let's say I have a cat. What is the prefix of cat? Prefixes of cat can be C, C, A, C, A, T. Okay. What are the suffixes of cat? T, A, T, C, A, T. So what in, what in prefixes we do, like start from the front, go ahead, take one by one element. Similarly, suffix we do. Go start from back and take elements one by one. Okay, so this is the thing in the suffixes, but don't consider it in reverse order. It will be in same order like T, add the A element, add C element like this. Okay, so these are the prefix and suffixes. Okay, now let's understand. Let's say I have this CAT. Okay, so I want is CAT in any of the string prefix or suffix. Let's say this is a CAT. So we can see this CAT is properly present. So let's say if it is not present. So I will say CAT is a prefix of this string. So I will say, okay, this string is this string is valid for taking the count. Okay. Similarly, let's take this dog. Now we can see uh, here dog is a suffix. Dog is a suffix. D-O-G. Dog is suffix. So I will say this string is also valid. Rat. Rat is no one present here like prefix, suffix or properly rat is not present. So I will say this is not found. So what is the count? One, two. Answer is two. This is a question. Question seem very simple. But let's understand first brute force approach. So, so that we can get intuition. What we are going to do and how we are going to do. Okay. Let's see. Let's understand brute force approach. So we can see for, let's say we have cat. So I want in any of the string, I want the suffix and prefixes of all the string to match this cat. So one possible approach the brute force approach that you can think map. What I can do, let's say I take this cat. I take this map. I will take all the prefixes and suffixes and insert it in map. Let's see, let's see. C, C, A, C, A, T. Similarly, suffixes T, A, T, C, A, T. Taken. Similarly, take this next string. Add its suffixes and prefixes like this. Okay. Now, I will search cat. Is cat present? I will say yes, it is present. Okay. Is dog present? Obviously, if I add cat and dog, so obviously I will add suffix also, dd dog, og, like this, okay. So I will say dog is present, okay. Rat, not present, okay. So in this way, we are going to do, but this is brute force approach. How? Because for every string, for every string, let's say it is big of n, big of n traversal. Within that, I am inserting the string in map. So actually it will take big of login. Okay, so this is the complexity. Similarly, for S2, I will search. For searching, it's big of log n. So obviously, it will become very high complexity, big of n into big of log n. So I don't want this. Okay, so how can I do it in easier way? So here comes the dry data structure. Like whenever prefix, suffix, these things come, most of the times, dry data structure is applicable. Okay, so let's see what is dry data structure. Then I will jump onto the approach. So first, see what is dry. Okay, try something like the optimization here. How? Let's see. Uh, you have seen the binary tree. Yes. So within the binary tree, you see that we have left, right. So what is the structure? Struct node star. Okay. And within that, what do we do? Node star left, node star right. What that means? That means for this node, we have two locations. We are pointing to two locations left and right. Similarly, linked list you have seen next and previous. Similarly, within the try, what we do? Just a small change. We say, we say node star A, node star B, node still node star Z. That means I will be pointing to 26 locations. Okay. So, can I optimize this? Should I write these 26 locations? No. I can optimize this by making a array. Obviously, node star links 26 what that means that means links of zero 
will work similar to e. links of one will work similar to b okay so this is some what i have made the array to optimize this so now what will be the structure of the node structure of the node will be something like struct node and within that node we are pointing to 26 locations node star links 26 this is the now structure of the node okay so so let's see so what happens in the try let's say i insert this cat so our first operation in the try is insert cat okay just see you will get it you will get it what i am doing how i am doing okay let's insert cat so here is a node here is a node as similar to binary tree node so here is a try node. okay so you will say this is a node so it has 26 location a b c d so obviously instead of a b c d what i am doing uh like you do in frequency like frequency of 26 what we do like in frequency of a we can't do frequency of a so that's why we do frequency of a minus a frequency of b minus a what this will do zero one frequency of zero frequency of one so just we are making this in zero base indexing like a will be considered as zero b will be considered as one c will be considered as three and c will be considered as two and z will be considered as 25 like this that's why i'm taking the array of 26 okay so here we have a b c d something like t z like this okay so now 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 we have c a t so i will say it is a 0th level it is a 1th level it is a 2th level as in the binary tree we do first level second level third level we have okay so in the first level i will insert c in the node i will say these all are initially pointing to node these all are initially pointing to null okay let's point them to null now i will say c for inserting the c i will not actually insert the c i will say c you are pointing to null currently just point to something which is not empty null is empty obviously c will point to an empty node but not null c will point to something which is not empty now all are pointing to null but C is not pointing to null, C is pointing to a node. So this will happen in insert operation. Similarly, I will come to this level now. Now I will now my pointer will come to A. I will say again I have because node in the every binary tree, every node, left, right, left, right, previous next and linked list. Similarly, 26 locations in every node here are present. I will say A, B, C, Z. Now we have A. So I will say A, all are pointing to null. A, you should not point to null now. You should point to something which is not empty. Okay. Now again. Now we'll come to T. Next level. Now we have A, B, C, something like T. Now I will say all are pointing to null. But T, you should point to something which is not null. So T will point to something which is not null. Okay. Now it has also A, B, C, D, X. But these all are pointing to null. Okay. So in this way, the insert operation happened. Now let's say I come up with cat and dog. Okay. So let's reduce this first cat a n because otherwise it will become very complex to add all nodes within the single page cat and now this c we have already c pointing to someone at the zeroth level because let's say cat and zero one two three four five now c is already pointing to someone now i will come to a a is already pointing to someone okay i will come to t t is already pointing to someone okay now I will come to A. A is not pointing to someone. Okay. Then insert it again. Insert it again. So similarly, N. Similarly, uh, D. D. O. G. Similarly, this will happen. Now let's say another string come like uh, C. A. E. Okay. So I will say C. You should point to someone which is not empty. I am already pointing to someone who is not empty. Okay. Just go ahead. A. A, you should point to someone who is not empty. I am already pointing to someone who is not empty. Now, E, you should point to someone who is not empty. I will say I am, I am pointing to null. I should point to someone which is not empty. So, E will also point to someone which is not empty. So, in the binary tree, we have two things. But now, we can have 26 things. Okay. For pointing. So, similarly, within this node, we can point to 26 elements. Okay. Obviously, nodes, you can say. Now, this is the insert operation. Now, let's say when I come to search operation, let's say I want to search cat. So, what will happen? I will say 
C pointing to someone that means C was pointing to someone that means C is inserted here. Is A pointing to someone? Yes, that means A is inserted here. Is T pointing to someone? I will say that means T is inserted here. I will just stop here because my word is completed. My prefix is completed. That means something like C A T dash dash is present within the try. So I will say this word is present. So I will say that this word is take the count plus plus. Similarly, now we want prefix and suffix. So what we do, we add cat as well and we add tac as well. That means actually prefix, suffix both. Why? Because obviously, because obviously what I want, I want to search for prefix and suffix. Let's say I want cat and dog. I have this string and I want to find dog. So I will say I should find, let's say I reverse this. This will become what? Uh, on reversing, it will become G O D T N A T A C. This is somewhat the reverse string. So now when I ins when I find this G O G, obviously it should become G O D for comparing. G present, yes. O present, yes. T present, yes. Yes. Just break out return to. So like prefix, with the prefix, we do normal. In the suffix, we have to reverse the string to check from the back elements. Like this will happen. Okay. So this is somewhat the try approach. So let's try to code up the approach to better understand it. Okay. So now, now we have first thing as node structure. What is the node? Because we, what we have in binary nodes are left nodes are right. This happens. Okay. So now instead of this, we have 26, 26 pointers. We'll say 26 links. Okay. Now, now, now what will happen? Now I will create a try. Class try. Here semicolon. Class try. Now within that try, what I will have, I will say the like within the tree, we, we have the root. Similarly, try has also root. Okay, now I will say initially try try will be what uh, pointing to null because the fall constructor obviously mark it as null. So we have to make it point to something which is not null. So we will say just make this that try root is equal to null node. That means it will have these 26 parameters. Okay, otherwise it was null. Okay, now, now we have try. Now first we have insert function. Insert function will have string. So like uh, while inserting the element, we will create a, we will point to the root node. Like initially we are pointing to root node, this root node. We will go to next, root next. Now root next. But how will you go to root next? Like C is pointing. So I will just go to the C's address. C's address is this. Go to the C as well, like this. Okay. So I will say nodes are current is equals to root and we will traverse this string one by one and I will say if node has this word of i as I already said like when I was inserting this uh, c a e so I inserted c I inserted a but when I inserted e I inserted e newly but initially I was going same within the same node which are already inserted. So I will say if it is not inserted. So for that, I will create a function for node. So that code looks more cleaner. So I will say void. What? I will check bool contains key. Contains key function, what it will say, let's have cat ch. I will say if links of ch minus a is not equal to null, that means whether that node is not pointing to null, that means it is pointing to someone. That means this node has already been made. I don't need to create it again. So if it is not made, I will say word of I. If it is not made. So if it is made, then fine. If it is not made, then we have to create it. So how can we create it? For that, I will create another function. Void set char ch. Character ch. And I will have a node star. So that means... Uh, that means that links of ch minus a, whatever is the a, you should point to node. That means don't point to null now, point to someone which is not null. So I will say node set word of i. Okay, now 
After that, when I've inserted this, when I go to the next level, I plus plus, I will say go to the next node. Node is equal to node get word of file. Like the this video, like within this, when I have this node, we have C. So I go to the next element like this. Okay. So I will say node is equal to node get word of I. Okay. So this in this way the insert operation happen. Okay. Now the search operation. Search operation will be something like string ampersand word. So I will say uh, within the search operation, we have node sir current is equal to root. Okay. So within that, parent i is equal to zero. I less than word dot length i plus plus. I will try to search every character. But the character is present as I already said. So I will say now what now I wrote the get function. So what the get functions do is get functions gives us the address of the next location. So I will say links of ch minus a go to this location. Thus these are functions. You can write these here like node. You will say node links of ch minus a is not is equal to null. I am just calling the function to look to look the code more cleaner. I am doing this. Okay. So I will say if the node doesn't contain the key, that means this alphabet is not inserted at this level. Return false. Obviously, this is not present. Otherwise, go to the next node. In this way, it happens. Okay. Now, now we have done both of the things. I will attach this semicolon here. Okay, done. Now the main task comes here to write this function. Now I will create the try class object. Now I will insert the string when prefixes and suffixes one by one. I will say try dot insert id. Now reverse this id and add this reverse id also. Alphabet one by one. Try dot insert id. Then we are done. Now. Now, what is the task? We have to count the S2 string, which has prefix or suffix in S1, any one prefix or suffix form. Okay. So now I will say, what is the reverse version of ID? We have to uh, check the prefixes and suffixes. So like suffix will be the last thing, last part. So I will say just reverse it and check this last part as a suffix. Okay. So now I will reverse, reverse or again. Comma reverse dot end. Okay. I will reverse this. I will make a reverse string. So I will search within the try. Try dot search. If this string is found in prefix or if this string is found in suffix. If this string is found any of the prefix or suffix anything, then I will say, okay. Read count plus plus. And add then what are main tasks? Return the count. Let we have the problem here. Just create this node. Make this node. Now for word, I, I have to pass a node to which it should point, obviously. Let's try to compare the code again. So if somehow this prefix is found, I will return to obviously. So let's try to compare in the code again. So yes, let's submit the code. Yes, so it's totally working fine. So this question is somewhat easy if you know the try. So this question is of try. So if you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.